This is the new eMove Touring. We reviewed the eMove Touring in February and love the ride, but a new model has arrived, including seven updates to the design. As one of the most popular scooters sold worldwide, we're excited to check out the changes to the Touring and see if Voro Motors made just updates or made true upgrades to this well-respected mid-range commuter. In this review, we'll walk you through each update and give an ESG thumbs up if the update is an improvement, an ESG thumbs down if it's not serving its purpose, or an ESG thumbs sideways if nothing really changed between models since our last review. This is Chuck with Electric Scooter Guide, the leading source for electric scooter reviews. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel so that we can keep making videos like this one. But first, the basics. The eMove Touring is $899, but you can get 7% off with our exclusive coupon code. Find it in the video description. The new Touring has a tested top speed of 21.5 miles per hour. It gets 18.7 miles of range, weighs 39.6 pounds, and accommodates riders up to 308 pounds. Many scooter riders sent requests to Voro Motors asking for specific features, and Voro responded. Updates to the Touring include an LG battery, plug-and-play cabling, seat mounting holes, improved folding mechanism, longer deck, headlight, and horn. We'll also go over a couple other differences that we noticed between models. Keep in mind that we're covering updates between the models that we have, which may be different from the models they ship next month. Number one, LG battery. The older model has a generic battery with 756 watt hours of capacity, while the new Touring has an LG battery with 624 watt hours. This change has been around since April 2020. Although generic batteries are okay for some devices, electric scooters need batteries with consistent performance, and LG is known for its quality. In our performance tests, the older eMove Touring performed slightly better when it came to top speed, range, and time to reach 20 miles per hour. The older Touring has an ESG certified top speed of 21.9 miles per hour, while the newer Touring tops out at 21.5. The older Touring also has about three miles more range, getting 22.1 miles to the newer model's 18.7. In the zero to 20 mile per hour test, the older Touring is four tenths of a second faster at 7.2 seconds. However, the new Touring has seriously sweet acceleration from zero to 15 miles per hour getting up to speed in just 3.9 seconds to the older Touring's time of 4.5 seconds. Not only does this beat all scooters in its class, it also beats the Apollo City and Zero 09, both premium commuters known for speed, crowning the Touring with the fastest 0 to 15 time in the mid-range commuter class. The new Touring also has best-in-class hill climbing ability, getting up the 200-foot, 10% average grade hill in 12.4 seconds, beating the previous Touring model along with all others in the mid-range commuter class, as well as the Titan T9 offshoots, the Apollo City and 09 in the higher price class. Lastly, the new Touring has slightly better braking, stopping at just 16.4 feet, just shy of the older model. Backing the Touring with a reliable brand name and maintaining a strong performance, the new Touring surprised us with its zippy 0 to 15 acceleration and hill climbing power. ESG thumbs up! Number 2 Plug and Play Cabling. By updating the cables on the Touring to plug and play, riders can easily swap components if they're broken and customize the style of the throttle. The eMove Touring comes with a trigger throttle, but you can upgrade to a thumb throttle for $59 or twist throttle for $69. Either can be installed by Voro ahead of shipping for a $30 installation fee. We tried riding the new Touring with all three throttle styles. The trigger throttle responds well, providing good acceleration and is pretty comfortable to use, but not the most ergonomic long term. We usually prefer thumb throttles for longer rides as they tend to be more comfortable. When we installed the thumb throttle on the Touring, 
we notice that because of the width taken up by the key switch, it sits in an awkward position. You have to rotate your wrist towards yourself or slide your hand to the right to hit the throttle. It's just a little goofy. It was also much harder to keep the scooter at a steady pace maintaining constant pressure on the thumb throttle because bumps in the road vibrate through your thumb affecting how accurately you can make contact. Also, a cable extending from the throttle attaches to the display and is so short that it restricts you from rotating the display forward, which you'd need to do to read the display if riding while seated. For that reason, we don't recommend using the thumb throttle while seated. However, we really enjoy the twist throttle, which we don't see built into scooters very often other than the Gleon Dolly. It also might be the easiest to operate for someone with arthritis or other joint problems as you're rotating your wrist to activate rather than continually pressing on the throttle with your finger or thumb. The overall feel of the twist throttle is great, which is why it's our favorite of the three. Also, we found it to be the most comfortable throttle to use riding the Touring while standing or sitting, which we're gonna talk about next. By upgrading the cabling to plug and play, the Touring can be customized with whichever throttle you choose in about 10 minutes. And if we had to choose, it'd be the twist throttle. ESG, thumbs up. Number three, seat mounting holes. This is the first seated scooter we've ever tested, and it was interesting. The eMove Touring has world-class suspension and is one of our favorite scooters because it has such a smooth, balanced ride. But while riding it seated, the Touring loses some of its appeal. With the seat screw holes pre-drilled into the deck, Voro Motors has made it very easy to add a seat, which is a $65 upgrade. The Touring is a well-balanced scooter, but when seated over the rear wheel, the steering becomes very exaggerated. When turning the front wheel to the right, you can feel the rear wheel counter shifting to the left. Taking a closer look at the seat, we think the springs under either side of the cushion, which operate independently, make it feel a bit like you're rocking back and forth in a canoe. Along with getting used to how the steering differs while seated, we also found differences with how the scooter performs when braking. When standing, we got a braking distance of 16.4 feet coming to a halt from 15 miles per hour. When sitting on the Touring, we got a tested braking distance of 19.4 feet and wanted to mention this difference as you'll need a bit more space ahead of you to stop effectively if you're sitting down. Although riding while seated wasn't our favorite, the Touring is easy to carry with the seat attached if you grip the stem in one hand and the post of the seat in the other. If you need to fold it, it doesn't take too long to remove the seat and fold the seat stem. Having the ability to add a seat is awesome, but using a seat that makes it feel like you're riding on a trampoline isn't what we were expecting. ESG, thumbs down. Number four, improved folding mechanism. On the new Touring, the metal plate in the folding mechanism was replaced with a rubber rod that provides adjustability to reduce play in the stem. When comparing rides between the models, we can visibly see and feel that there's much less play in the stem and you can increase tension on the new mechanism where you could not before. This simple innovation improves the ride quality and is a great upgrade to the Touring. ESG, thumbs up. Number five, longer deck. The deck on the new Touring is just one inch longer than the previous model and doesn't feel like a significant change because the deck is already exceptionally spacious. According to Voro Motors, the additional length better houses the motor controller wiring. However, the standing room hasn't changed dramatically enough for us to notice. Well, we would have noticed because we measure everything, but we wouldn't consider this a true upgrade. The already roomy deck doesn't feel noticeably larger. ESG, thumbs sideways. Number six, headlight. At ESG, we are safety advocates and always appreciate built-in lighting. The new Touring comes with a bright, low-mounted headlight that is controlled by a flip switch. It is a great safety addition as it helps others see you and you see the road, but we always suggest a high mounted headlight for night riding. With the light mounted higher on the scooter, it can better project light across a larger area in front of you. With the light low on the scooter, 
it can only show you what's right in front of you and that won't give you enough time to stop in an emergency. This upgrade would have been a little better if it had been an even brighter light mounted closer to the handlebars. ESG, thumbs up. Number seven, electronic horn. Another safety feature new to the Touring is an electric horn, which is controlled by a button that's near the bell on the left handlebar. Although a horn and a bell may seem redundant, we appreciate that each works better in different scenarios. We use the bell to politely caution pedestrians that we're near and use the horn to warn vehicles if they're getting too close. Also, a horn is a more familiar warning sound to someone driving a car than a bell. When it comes to operation, it was easier to sound the horn than the bell, especially when braking because of where the bell is located, but both function well and are easy to use. We measured both the horn and the bell at 89 decibels, which is plenty loud. For reference, sounds above 95 decibels, like the constant racket you hear while riding on the subway, are harmful to your ears. The electric horn is a safety upgrade that gives riders more options to alert others and doesn't take up much space in the cockpit. ESG, thumbs up. A couple of other differences that we notice between our Touring models include the display and the max payload. On the older Touring, the QS S4 throttle had a monochrome display and was very easy to read. On the newer Touring, it has the same style of throttle but has a multicolor backlit display that isn't quite as easy to read in direct sunlight. We didn't notice any issues with the new display, but we wanted to mention this change as it did affect overall readability. When we first reviewed the Touring, the max payload was 308 pounds. At some point, Voro Motors updated it to 330 pounds and then reverted it back to 308 ahead of this review. So we asked them why it changed back and forth. AJ from Voro explained that the factory team measures the max weight by riding the Touring slowly, packing on weight gradually during testing. When they hit 330 pounds, they noticed that the max speed began to drop, and so they reduced the max load to 308 pounds, where they could ensure the scooter performs as expected. Like we mentioned at the beginning of this review, Voro is constantly updating their products in response to rider requests, and it's best to check the ESG website for up-to-date specs and information if you purchase an eMove Touring. All of the updates we mentioned improve the overall usability and customizability of the eMove Touring and help it appeal to a wider audience as a go-to commuter. But some updates proved more effective as upgrades than others. We love the LG battery, the addition of the plug and play cabling, and the improved safety features, but didn't feel like the seat or the slightly longer deck provided a more comfortable ride, especially since the eMove Touring already has such a stellar ride and oversized deck. We were floored when we retested the new Touring and discovered it now has best-in-class acceleration to 15 miles per hour and best-in-class hill climbing, hustling past well-known scooters above its class. The Touring is still one of the best scooters you can get for under $900 with responsive suspension, tons of customizations, and active rider-focused support from Voro Motors. If you already own a Touring and are looking to upgrade, it is still a great buy. If you are interested in learning more about the eMove Touring or any other scooter, please visit our website. And if you're ready to purchase, make sure to use our exclusive coupon code and follow the link below to save money and support our channel. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our weekly live show featuring the latest from the electric scooter industry. Until next time, ride safe and don't forget to wear your helmet. Check out the video below for our live show where I chatted with AJ from Voro Motors about the eMove Touring. And check out the other video below for the best resources for scooter owners. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great stretch, to be honest. Uh -huh.